Oh, he getting ready. He getting ready. Uh oh, no podium. I put my hand over my heart when I hear the song in this country, and my brain is able to translate it into Spanish. I got an English first name of Matthew. A Spanish accent, the last name of Marroquin, accent over the I. But Marroquin happens to mean from Morocco, which happens to be something that I only got 1% of, according to Ancestry.com, but that's a poem for a different time. I am, to give you a little bit about me, I am a poet, I'm a writer, I'm an author, I'm a talker, I'm an anime watcher, I'm a glasses wearer, I'm a runner, I'm a talker, I am an advocate for change, I'm a justice seeker, I'm a teller of truth, I'm a talker, I put the cereal in before the book so you do the other way around, you're just a little bit weird, and I put, and I got three tattoos before I ever told my mother, which was kind of hard for me, because if you notice, I'm a little bit of a talker. I'm ADHD, but I still am not crazy. It's like a little imbalance in my brain. Like, my life is a little bit out of balance, but that's okay, because the calendar is fixing that. Yes, I know I missed, like, two meetings this week, and yes, I know it's only... Yes, I know I missed three meetings this week. Yes, I know it's Friday. Someone please remind me to send an email after this. I have a sunshine hill personality and a caramelized brown skin and I definitely got a need for both but I wouldn't trade either for the world. I am first gen college, second gen immigrant, parents from another land full of soil. I never got to scrape my knees on yet. Even so, I feel like an OG percentage is unknown percent. I'll become whatever I do and I'll do whatever I become because this is who I am and I can't wait to share a little bit more with all of you. Thank you. So, A little bit about who I am. Uh, I said a lot of things there. There's a lot of words. It's, it's according to like, I don't know, Google, what the poets, poets do. Say words. So I'm gonna say some more. Um, during that time, I said a lot of things, you know? Like, say okay, blow milk, if you do the other way around, you like, just sh shouldn't be here. Um, <laughs> ADHD and all this other stuff. The ADHD one's actually kind of funny, because like, there's so many stories of that, because like, okay, you see, when I was like in the fifth grade, okay, you guys remember the fifth grade? Does anyone here remember the fifth grade? Yeah. Maybe. I remember fifth grade very vividly for some reason, out of all the years. No. When I was in the fifth grade, the school suggested and recommended, well, they actually asked, well, I actually told my parents that I should tell my parents that I should go see something to figure out why I couldn't sit still in class and why I couldn't focus and why the birds are tracking me more than X and Y and why I'd freak out and cry every time the teacher would yell at me or break rulers on my desk so they took me to a place where my dad said, they took me to a place where my dad said a long while back that Looney Tunes or something like that went to get better. So up I went and the doctor talked to me without sticking needles into my body and asked me about how I felt. And let me sit on a yoga ball and play with this one colorful toy that expanded and contracted and had points. And the point of this was, well, I don't really remember, but she said she had to diagnose. My ever expanding, contracting brain that was too colorful for me to contain is something about ADHD with vanilla mix of anxiety and who knows what else there is in there too. But she says she wanna fix and yes, I said fix those two first. So I guess I was Bugs Bunny now because I have to say, uh, what's up, Doc? At least once a month for the carry she fed me. Yo, the carry she fed me weren't very good. One was small and blue and neutralized, the vanilla just real quick and the other it was like a chameleon, who I think was naturally white that liked to rest on my tongue and go down the water side of my throat, taking with it a ball and chain that went down all day, and now, and now, and now I can sit in the classroom all quietly and nice. Just something on me too. 
uh, you still don't really remember those times because we're on those medications. You don't really remember those times because 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 uh, not not the one in this rabbit hole. It's all dark now. No Wesley, why did they catch here? A uh, parasitic fix was supposed to be wrong with the medication, but but they didn't understand what was going on. They didn't understand what was going on in my head because 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 to them to them mental illness did not exist in in English or in Espanol. To them mental illness did not exist in Latino America. To them mental illness did not exist in El Salvador. To them mental illness was just a lack of me trying to them. in the shell of who I once was because I always wondered, I pondered, I questioned the curiosity killing me about uh, nine times over because 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 if the onus does not exist in that female culture, does that mean I don't exist? Thank you. So here's the Barbie movie. So you, can, you can raise your hands, guys. We're back in class. I'm a teacher. Raise your hands. Barbie movie? Anybody? No. Yo, like all y'all don't have lives or something. You didn't see the Barbie movie. What, what the heck? I didn't see any hand movies. I saw you. It's fine. You're, you're a real one. <laughs> you're a real one. Okay, so I wrote this before the Barbie movie. I have to always say that now because it exists. No. Ken. So it's like, yeah. I got it. Anyways, I wrote it, I saw the poster, and then I wrote it. But like, yeah, okay, we're just gonna go into it, because, you know, I just poem. Okay, that's my job, I just poem. Um, Barbie movie reference. The rest of y'all who didn't raise your hand, you wouldn't get it. Uh -huh. I'm no different than the garage sale Ken doll. Beating them better by America's children's skin color white and sold after my word to them is gone. Head popped off and switching one that looks better, sells better, one that is more likely to get hired. I'm a brown boy toy with mismatched parts. Voice box dumb into English, speaking sounds my grandma has never been able to recognize. And my body, constantly reforming to what society believes is perfect, but we all know I'm able to get there because I only like it when they're poppy and their yard workers are brown, but not their toys. Hi, these kids out here acting like Sid instead of Andy, but they have knock me around, just throw me back down on table, and, and, and you see this country, this country can play with me. Make me believe that being American means like I, I, I have to act whiter than the crayons they colored me with. Maybe that's why I always say that I'm Salvadorian first and American second, because here I'm just treated like a second class citizen who made in America tattoo too light for them to see. This colorization guarantees I never sell like a garage sale. Letting myself in the free box thing are the same inalienable rights as those toys on the table. Getting branded off brand in my own home state of Iowa. Even though I'm more Midwest than Kent, Wisconsin born self, and at least my tan is a melanated natural. Popped off heads still rolling down gutter streams and shoulders carrying imposter hood proving that America made doesn't mean it'll last longer. Molded hair, come on, Kent, all that Kent clothing flam never been able to afford unless thrift stores had it years later or clearance racks racked it up on clearance. I'm the model Kendall that didn't exist until 20 years after the original. And me thinking that out here would flow in future time, that I would be Kenning up here, only to find out I got a more original Ken doll here, the original Ken doll, and the garage sale ends. The free box, that free box is still full where I'll end up. I don't know, but this toy story is over. Because you see, this off brand Ken doll cannot be bought in stores. Now my mold has been broken, my box has been cracked open. I. Choose to be human instead, because this toy refuses to be played with any longer. Thank you. So, if you're not following me, and you have to see a phone out right now, I'll wait. If you guys have Instagram, pull up the Instagram application. I'll wait. Cool. So what you're gonna type, what you're gonna type is V I V as in Victor, not V V I D A underscore, which is like a hyphen but like down. <laughs> M A 
R R O Q U I N. I should come up. I should be there. Cool. Okay. Have a good night.